Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Pookie. Yeah, right. We have a nice little drone here. This is, I believe, what else does this look like? It's got to be a Mavic clone, isn't it? It's by a company called Vizio. Vizio? Vizio? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Vizio drone, high performance four channel camera, quadcopter. Now, for the price of this, I think it's only about 40 quid. I don't think it's going to be high performance. But we will get out of the box, we will have a look at it, and we will have a fly. I had a little bit of a fly of it last night inside indoors, and actually, surprisingly, it was really, really smooth. So that's all I did. I literally took it up for like two seconds in my bedroom, and that was probably about it. Didn't really give it much of a fly, but we'll give it a go. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this. Find the opening for this. We shall get the box open. As you can see, though, the arms fold out on it. It comes with a little Xbox looking control pad and you can also connect it to your phone with Wi-Fi camera connection. That'll be real-time camera connection. So, see what we got in here. We have the user manual. Obviously this will tell you the basic, you know, what's about, what it does, flips, rolls, etc. It's how to calibrate, you know, just basically control the drone, but it's fairly simple obviously if you're already into drones. That is to go up and down, to ascend and descend. That is to t turn left and right, that'll be the yaw. Then that'll be forward tilt, backwards tilt, sideways tilt. And there's pretty nothing else much to it. We also have a takeoff button and a land button. We have the power button there. We have a still picture button. We have a camera button for recording. We've also got headless mode, and we also have a return to home function. I believe the little D-pad over here is for trimming it, so that'll be to trim out if you need to trim anything when it's flying. It seems to be flying one way. We also have a speed button there, so we have three uh, modes for the speed. So we have a 25% tilt, 50% tilt, and 100% tilt. And 100% tilt is obviously the fastest, 25 being the slowest. And we also have a flip button. So all you'll do is you'll hit the flip button with that press any direction on the little thumbstick there and it'll flip in the direction of basically where you press. So let's get a little look at this drone because that's what we've come to see on the really. Get this out. Do the box aside for a minute. It really is a nice looking drone. I mean the feel of it, it does feel a bit plasticky you know. It is just a toy. We've got the memory card slot there and the on off button. We've got the camera at the front, which does actually tilt, so you're not in a fixed uh, position, you know, for flying, which is decent. I like that, it's a nice little touch. One of the things I don't like is these proprietary batteries. Now, it's just the same as any old battery that you would have, but it comes with its own little proprietary connector housed inside there. Now, you could probably modify this to take all your other batteries, but as it comes, you can only use the battery that it comes with, so you would have to buy some more of them. Also has a charging port there, a little micro USB charging port with for the micro USB charger, which is actually upstairs charging. Oh, I've already finished the battery, I just didn't put it back in there. Silly me. I've also got prop guards, and extra propellers, a little screwdriver, and you also get a micro SD card and a little adapter. So, what we'll do is we'll flip this out. Get these arms folded out. It's hard to do this with one hand, guys. I do apologise. I do like the way they snap lock in place. It does, they're not just like loose, they do get to a point and then you can feel it clap like that. But it does, to me, in all fairness, it does look like a little Mavic. You know, nowhere near the price range, but I think you could modify this. You know, put a couple of brushless motors, bit of a decent flight controller on it. I think that's but this has a potential for an upgrade. Maybe do that in a follow up video. So, what we'll do now is we'll get this already set up outside and we'll take it for a flight, show you a bit of the footage and show you how stable this little flyer is outdoors in a casual wind of today. So, catch you in a sec guys. Just another quick note guys, if you do want to know where to get the app from, the app is called XF, um, sorry, XSW UFO app. Now you can just get the QR code scanner and scan each one of them codes in there if you're on Google Play, iOS or 360. I'm not too sure what that 360 is actually. Hmm. But anyway, that's how to get the app downloaded for your phone, guys.